welcome to today's video. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. As you can already tell by the title today, I'm doing a little haul. I'm now done. Right, so my studio light actually broke, so now I have to use my big old windows in front of me. And it's about five o'clock, so the sun is going down, so you may see a bit of difference in the lighting. Just as a warning, I have tried on some of these clothes. I couldn't wait. I absolutely love getting parcels. Parcels come through my door. I absolutely love it. So that is why I have already tucked into this big old PLT bag. I need more clothes. It's coming up to summer, even though most of these clothes are like tracksuits and stuff. But... But let's just get into it anyway. So the first thing that I picked up from PLT, I was like, I'm really, really missing this from my wardrobe. I need this. I feel like it's something that is a bit of a staple. It's actually what I'm wearing now. So it's just a, it's just a plain grey crew neck. Do you know like when you see the boys in the grey tracksuits and everyone finds them attractive? I feel like that. I feel like it's something that was completely missing from my wardrobe. I just really, really like them. I feel like I love that whole like, just come out of prison look. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That just sounds stupid. This grey ultimate oversized sweater was £15, which to be honest I think is a bargain. To match this sweater, I wanted some grey joggers. These joggers from Pretty Little Thing are only £12. They are the cheaper joggers. Here they are. So you can't actually see. These joggers are much more thinner than the £20 joggers. These joggers have zero drawstring and actually on the inside, I'll insert a little clip now, they're not fluffy or furry. They're quite thin, and I guess you could say they're not itchy, but they're more of an itching material. And just for reference, I'm also about five foot four, and these come up quite short on me. I do have more on the longer side of legs and the shorter body. So these joggers come about this much higher than my ankle. It's that really, really awkward point where they end on your legs. If you're shorter, these will probably come up to the amazing point. But if you're a bit longer than me, then I would say maybe size up or go in the tall section. They are quite unflattering on the waist. I'm not actually going to show you just because they're that unflattering. They don't come up further enough. And like I said, that may just be because they're on the shorter side of my legs. Anyway, let's just get on to the next thing. Let's stop talking about these. Okay, the next thing I picked up from Pretty Little Thing were these two tracksuits. So at first I picked up the Sage colour I absolutely love these I got these in a size 8 they are so pretty and so much more better quality than these grey joggers I don't know if you can see but they're really furry on the inside they've got drawstring I absolutely love that and they've got a higher waistband on them as well compared to the last joggers so these joggers were £20 and they're also petite joggers just for reference I get a 34 leg on Joni jeans and these are petite but yeah these come up perfect on me they don't seem petite but maybe I've just been getting Joni jeans that are too long for me but of course I got these matching jumper so I also got this in a size 8 I think I would have went for a size 10 if it was in stock but I'm so glad I didn't the size 8 fits perfectly fine it doesn't come up too short oh it's on the outside no 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 please no how did he get in my room come on little guy I'm not here to hurt get out Hey, sorry about that. There was just a bee. I heard it coming and it actually did come through my window, which I'm not sure why. I love the colour lilac. I really do think that is such a pretty colour. I had to buy that tracksuit in the lilac acidy wash. I absolutely love this. Like I said, I picked it up in purple also. Pretty sure we are done with tracksuits now. Now we move on to the next obsession after tracksuits. So like I said, it is the summer. I had to buy something summery. So I decided to buy seven pairs of cycling shorts. I bought really like plain, simple colours, staple colours. I got cycling shorts in the colour grey. This beautiful, uh, what would you call this? Like almond? Almond? No. Emerald. I love putting it with just literally a black jumper. A lovely gold necklace. You know, jewellery is key to styling things up. I think these look really lovely with a nice like race style crop top and a blazer. I think that is such a good, nice look. If you're like me and are insecure about a lot of things, the blazer covers up your belly and your arm. And then I also got these cycling shorts in black. You know, just the simple colours really. I got all of these in a size 8. They've been really good at going through the wash. They've been perfect really. The only thing that I would say is that some of the colours can come up see-through in the sun so just be aware of that because i love them so much i picked them up in a few more colors so i was like let's just go out my comfort zone and buy some new colors so i haven't actually even opened these up yet i'm not so sure why i bought them in a size 10. i picked up these cycling shorts in dusty rose i love 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 the cycling shorts with oversized t-shirts oversized sweaters and i just think that picking them up in different colors you can just make really easy simple outfits out of them i then bought another pair of cycling shorts in khaki color also then picked up another pair of cycling shorts and these are in a size 8 these are a bright fuchsia pink color 
I feel like these are going to be see-through. So, can you see in the sun? I don't know if you can see my hands through them. Girls, just stick to your oversized t-shirts when wearing these, I guess. Now I'm going to have a whole drawer of cycling shorts. So, on Pretty Little Thing, I actually got the cycling shorts for like £4.20 because I had like 20% off or something like that. But you can... But... They are so cheap and they're such a staple, especially in the colour grey and black. And I picked all of these up for £5. And then I got these. So these, like I said, I've been loving the colour lilac with the rest of the world right now. I got a lilac pair of ribbed cycling shorts. Ribbed cycling shorts are a bit more expensive, so they're double the price. They're £10. But I just thought for a better quality cycling short and thicker material I thought it would be, even though they still look like they're going to be see-through. What I have bought to pair with them, as you can see, I've already been wearing them. I think I got these in a size medium or a size 10 just so they're in a bit on the bigger side. They come in a duo pack. Next thing I got from Pretty Little Thing was literally just a big black jumper. Like I said, you may have seen this over on my Instagram with the cycling shorts. So I picked myself up a teal unsleeved bodysuit. I, right now I'm absolutely loving the asymmetrical t-shirts and the tops and everything like that. I think they're really, really flattering on people. I'm not the biggest fan of bodysuits just because I find that sometimes they're either a hit or miss. And with bodysuits suits i always go sides up just because i can find that they might be a bit too tight oh my god i tried this on and i absolutely loved it i'm excited to wear this i thought with really nice mum jeans this would be a lovely look or with some shorts i thought this would be a really nice look i feel like you can put this with anything really quite simple next i bought this top so this is a charcoal jersey t-shirt so i got this in a size 10 i like to go on the bigger size on my top half just because i feel like that's more of my insecurity side so i always like to go a size up so things aren't so tight it's just like the way that I like the fit of my things. I just like them a bit more baggier on top. So this is actually just so plain and so simple. But I just thought with, like I said, some mum jeans. Oh my gosh. This is what I need. Everywhere I've searched the internet high and low for jersey shorts. I love the look of them. I feel like they're really cool. And I've been so tempted to go onto Boohoo or any man website and buy just normal men shorts. Because I just love them. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be patient. It's the most... Annoying thing in the world. I just want them shorts so much. So be expecting another haul from me soon. But yeah, this is such a plain t-shirt. I'm not going to talk about it for a million and one years. Really nice and cropped and simple and pretty. So the next thing I picked up was this pretty little thing, obviously. Was this white racer top. I love racer top. I didn't really think that these tops were going to suit me or I was going to like them on myself. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love them. I don't know what it is about them. They are so flattering. Like even the way they come up on your shoulders. But I don't know what it is about these. These are so nice so I got this in a size 10 and I will be going back and buying these in every single colour. Next thing that I purchased which I'm not too sure about which is this top. So this top is a pale green washed crop top. So I was imagining this with those jersey shorts I thought it would be really nice or the long line denim shorts but I tried it on and I'm not too sure about the colour. I do like the colour I just can't figure it out. Let me just put it up against me. I cannot figure out if this colour will suit me or not. Comment down below or I'll put a little poll up here if you think that this is a nice colour. I'm really really debating whether or not to keep it but that was literally £12 which is a decent price I guess it's literally just like, like a really boxy crop t-shirt obviously on the day of making this basket I really like this colour so I got this crop lime neon green um, this is called a jersey ruched crop top another thing about this t-shirt I dislike about it is with the ruched parts I thought that you might be able to like you know when you can pull them and make them tight you can't actually do that it's just ruched how it is I feel like this was a video where everything was basic but the basic basic things that you need in your wardrobe you know what I mean anyway that is the end of today's video I really really do hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below any video ideas and make sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next one bye guys